indecisive and I'm making this video again because I watched it the time I filmed it last time and gave a little too much information. So we're, we're backtracking and we're starting again. So uh, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly, a freshman at the University of Oregon. And yeah, so today you're probably watching this video because you're like, the word transferring is in the title. And so yeah, I'm actually transferring in the fall of 2019 and I'm gonna just kind of give you guys my reasons why um this is no videos no reason to like bash or or anything I love this school to bits and pieces I've had great experiences here I've had some interesting experiences here also I'm gonna miss my sorority sisters can't wait to see them again I love them so much I'm gonna miss a lot of my friends I'm gonna miss some of my professors some of them were godsons love them but um, I just have like a few little mini reasons that kind of like made a bigger reason for wanting me to leave and I just kind of want to explain why because I know there's not a lot of transfer videos out there. Um, mostly the ones I know about are obviously my cousins, which is Jenna Arendt. She did one about her transferring for CSMU to go to there's a state, so I'm going to link that one there. But um, I thought I would just kind of share my experience being here at University of Oregon and then why I'm going to transfer. So um, I've had a pretty positive experience at University of Oregon um, so far. I've done two quarters and this is my last quarter. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm in an awesome sorority. I love the girls I've been able to make sisters with. I have some great friends. I'm in a pretty cool major taking some awesome classes, um, been able to experience so many cool things. I was a part of a dance marathon to help raise money for the kids. Um, just I've done so much cool stuff here, but um, there's some things that kind of have driven me to the transfer and it's kind of sad, but you know, sometimes you just gotta take you, like take the path where life wants to take you and here isn't the place I'm gonna stay, which is kind of sad, but I'm grateful for the opportunity that I've gone thousands of miles away from home and lived on my own and prospered as much as I could. So I'm thankful for it and it was a pretty cool experience. And yeah, um, kind of the main reasons I'm transferring are tuition, um, some personal drama stuff, and then kind of just like overall feeling and life and stuff so uh first the first part uh, i'm just gonna go with personal trauma because i guess that's what people really like a lot i guess but um i was harassed a bit first and second quarter no shame i'm not gonna mention who the crap did it because i don't give a crap about them anymore or the group who did it there's just some really negative people out there in the world who just want to see you be torn down and you know what they're kind of been really negative energy I have a lot of anxiety going out into my hall still this is my home away from home and you know they've kind of made it not a great space for me and I know I'm not gonna end up seeing them next year and this is some people might say this is like me feeding them but like I don't care anymore I mean I have anxiety being in my hall still and I just kind of want to leave and that was kind of one of the main driving forces as to why I wanted to leave so yeah that's so all I'm gonna really mention about that um I might do a story time on it when I actually am not here anymore because I don't know if those people watch my videos or not or they can hear me down the hall but like thanks for living my life <laughs> jokes aside but um you know what those people are really negative and sucks you didn't turn me down so haha -ha. um the second reason is tuition um which is biking tuition about 20 percent um i pay about ten thousand dollars under what an nyu student would pay nyu students pay sixty five thousand dollars in tuition and um i'm out of state as you know oregon is not my home at all i'm thousands of miles away from oregon but um it's a it's a pretty significant tuition hike from where we already are i'm without a tuition hike i pay about ten thousand dollars less than an nyu student and so if they're bumping it a little more i'm yeah i can't pay that much anymore you know even though this is a great institution top 12 research 
I think in the top 10, top 12, top 50, around there, research institutions, um, you know, money is, money's a big thing, and, uh, I'm not really seeing the whole spike in tuition thing and, like, buy. it's just something that was kind of mentioned first quarter and just happened, so, I'm not really into that, and also kind of reason I'm leaving can't really pay that so yeah we love that um lastly um kind of ties into my first reason I'm leaving because of just overall life I'm just very anxious here um because of what had happened is my first reason but also I'm leaving to just get a better quality of life so I won't be more anxious um I love being here I've had again so much fun here and um, I'm kind of sad to leave, but um, it's it's pretty rainy here. I mean, mental health wise, I my light is turning off. I'm sometimes like really deeply depressed <laughs> and I need somewhere where I can be a little more happy and happy. And obviously like mental health talk, people don't like hearing about it, but I'm really anxious sometimes. Like I have 15 plus hours of homework. No, maybe like, I'm gonna go with like 25 last quarter. I probably had like so much. I was up to like midnight writing lab reports and I spent over 15 plus hours a week just on one chem lecture and like 10 hours a week on a lab report and then like I have so many additional hours I had to do with like, what did I take last quarter? Like psych and other stuff I was in math I was taking. I was really stressed and stuff and like obviously as a college student and being a STEM major, I, that's what's gonna happen and obviously I've taken down my course load a little bit this quarter to just kind of take a breather take a breath and not be as stressed but um feel like I need to get an environment which is also a little bit less stressful and a little more just not heavy credit wise because we're on, I'm on a quarter system at the moment University of Oregon is on a three quarter system which equals two semesters at most schools and it's a it's a little more fast paced and I went to a semester school in high school so I'm not used to this like really really fast paced lifestyle so um, I'm transferring back to a semester school which will help me kind of I think bring my anxiety down a little bit more which is nice because I think I need that because <laughs> high school and college are obviously very different and you know you get a lot more stressed and I'm gonna admit it stress is insane so yeah I'm transferring back to the semester school because I'm, I'm very used to semester schools and not uh, quarter schools it was an interesting ride what happened but um I'm very used to this now and so I'm gonna be very interesting going back to the semester school hope my light stops going off <laughs> um but yeah um I have I applied to so many schools via the common app um just to name a few like Chapman NYU Syracuse University of Notre Dame, I think that's how you say it. Um, ASU, Arizona, Colgate, um, where else? I think I, maybe Cornell? I don't think I applied to Cornell. I might have started the application but not finished. And I think that's it for schools because it's free. They waive tuition fee. Like, not tuition fee. They waive the application fee on comment up when you're a transfer. I can't anymore, but, um, yeah, um, I applied to a bunch of different schools, um, didn't really finish some of them, but, um, I had four, really, that I actually kind of finished, um, University of Maine, University of Arizona State, University of Arizona State, just Arizona State, why am I so sad at this, um, Chapman, NYU, oh, it's Syracuse, finished five. But um, I have yet to hear back from NYU and Syracuse, but I've heard back from the rest. I did get into University of Maine and Southern Maine, which is really cool. Really proud about that. Did not get into Chapman, <laughs> but that's cool. You know, I tried, you know, you just gotta try sometimes. It's, you know, it's free like application. You're just like, I'm gonna try and have fun. Um, can't wait to hear back from NYU and Syracuse because to school. I mean, I applied to NYU as a freshman, not as a freshman, as a senior in high school. Got denied, so uh, let's see what happens there. And uh, 
Obviously, I applied to Syracuse this year, and hopefully maybe that works out. But um, at the moment, I'm going to the University of Maine, and I'm very excited. And I can't wait to start my biology degree out there. And yeah, I'm going to miss Oregon, but um, I think it's a good change. And if you guys have any more questions or anything about transferring or the application or the process of transferring, I am totally here to do like a video or anything. So just leave a comment down below, and that's it. So, bye guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> well, we're back. <laughs> She's back, apparently.